Hey, what's going on, Pokéfans? Welcome to Pokémon TCG Center. In today's video, we'll be looking at Zekrom Electric deck for Legacy format. Um, it's not expanded, it's the Legacy, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, up to the Plasma sets. Um, so, yeah, it's been a long time since the last time played and even recorded and even made a video with some of the Legacy cards. Um, I decided to get back into Legacy, play a little bit see what I can get. Um, I decided to play Zekrom. Um, lighting Pokemon with 130 HP with the Bolt Strike for 120 with two Lighting Energies and one Colors Energy and Outrage for just the DCE for 20 plus 10 for each damage counter in this Pokemon. Technically, of course, you should probably play a couple double Colors Energies in this deck, um, but then again, I just decided to go with 10 Lighting Energies, so I should probably swap um, two Lighting Energies and add um, two Double Cores Energies, so I can have much easier Outrage, as well as Strong Vault, but maybe even that Vault Bolt available. Um, but for now, I will just keep it as it is, simple to see uh, how it will work. Um, so Zekrom should be our main attacking Pokemon. Um, technically, it can hit for 120 with Burping City in play and with Hypnotoxic Laser we can add 30 more damage so it can be increased up to 150. Enough for the Mirror Match of Knockout, but not enough for the Knockout against EX Pokemon with 180 HP. But then if you add one Silver Bangle, technically with that combo you can one hit Knockout your opponent EX Pokemon, for example Zekrom. I decided to play this deck just with four ends and four copies of Professor Johnny Purr um, without pretty much chance to um, to play Professor Rogue's new theory. Uh, no random receiver as you can see, no Smurgle, no Keldeo, which might be a mind blow thing, especially for Legacy because if I go down to one or two price cards and if my opponent ends me and if I run out of the uh, draw support I will probably lose the game but then again if my opponent goes down to three to one price cards I have much better chance to control him with those ends so that's the reason why I decided to go with four then again it's just a testing so why not um, there's the Raikou with that Vault Bolt for the bench type and there's the Zekrom EX with the strong Vault as well that can hit for maybe even more than 180 if it's necessary but it can also tank a little bit with 180 HP. Then again, um, what can be tricky for this deck, maybe Garbodor with the Garbotoxin and Landorus because I, I'm not playing um, for example Mr. Mime, but yeah, Mr. Mime can block bench snipe even in a mirror matchup against Raikou EX. Supporter, uh, Ace Pack uh, role, I decided to go with Computer Search. I actually decided to go with pretty much straightforward setup list with four Ultra Ball and four Level Ball and then of course four Junk Arms and four Hypnotoxic Lasers for the much possible consistency and then with four ends and four Johnny Purrs with uh, a lot of tech cards like Lost Removal, uh, Lost Remover times one, a Catcher, a Super Rod, a Switch, of course, Flowstone and Silver Bangle. Then of course, as I mentioned it, 10 Lighting Energies that can actually be reduced down to eight and then you can add two more DCEs. Overall, deck looks pretty good, in my opinion. It's a fairly consistent deck list. I did some test testings before, um, I even played a game with it, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pick one of the games that was pretty much the best, um, the closest matchups, and I will actually upload it. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, people actually are not playing too much Legacy these days. Uh, probably they're just main focus on the standard, probably expanded. So yeah, and this is gonna be the deck list I'm gonna use in today's video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Also, make sure to hit the likes up and don't forget to, hit the, to click notification bell so you don't miss any future video. So see you in the game. All right, so a little bit of legacy format. Um, all right, 
right, so let me just adjust my sound a little bit so we can start a game. All right, so playing with the Zekrom and Electric. And pretty much I'm going to face a mirror matchup here, so it's going to be interesting to watch that. So I actually decided to play my version of the deck without um, double Chorus energies. So I just decided to go with a regular... Um, there's just way too many resources and I'm just gonna play M. I just decided to go with um, Lighting energies and nothing else. Expect that. Will that be good or bad we shall see a little bit later i guess double chorus energy of course can be good because you can outreach at a turn one um it can be useful as well later in the game where you can simply use it for um you can also use it later for something like Zekrom EX, where you can just use two electrics, two dynamotors, and a DCE in order to attack. Uh, but for example, Bolt Strike does not require energies to be discarded, like Reshram attack, for example. Um, in my opinion, Reshram, Reshram might be a little, um, attack might be a little bit better and stronger than the Zekrom, but then again, um, and also, I'm not playing Keldeo, for example, as well. So I just decided to limit my EX Pokémons as much as I can. Um, but that might not be that good. Anyways. There's the Dynamotor. For the Zekrom. And one energy from hand for Zekrom EX means that my opponent will just attack with the Outrage. 420. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do here. Um, should I go with that Floatstone attachment? I'm actually thinking about it. And yes, probably I'm also gonna hit my opponent with the Outrage as well. So let's go with a Johnny Per for seven. A couple energies. And the good thing is that we have Verbank. So I will try to capture my opponent Dynamo for now. And I can swing him for 50. Hitting for 50 should be enough for the knockout here and for the first prize card in the game. Meanwhile, I'm gonna grab another Tynamo, put it on the bench, and Outrage. So I hit for 50, I took the first prize card in the game, which is another Lighting Energy. And my opponent came in the angry position with the Smurgle. As long as he have Keldeo, he can rush in retreat with the effect of the Floatstone. So even he have old school floatstone in the um, icon is the new one. All right. What we can expect, of course, first one portrait. After that, probably a supporter play. Uh, before supporter play, we can expect maybe some dynamotors. Maybe some other things. Of course, my opponent plays uh, the Ring City Gym as well. I decided not to put my in play just because who knows, maybe he can surprise me with his. Um, he definitely wants to go with uh, Bolt Strike for 120. Once he do that, I'm still in a huge advantage uh, right now. Even with my Bolt Strike, I can go for 150 because I do have that Silver Bang. But there's also Verbank and Hypnotoxic Laser, which can allow me to go for two price card. Now I against Zekrom EX. There's a Scramble Switch. Ooh, seems really bad. And we shall see probably Bolt Strike for 120. He definitely wants to go for Bolt Strike. Alright, alright, alright. 
right, luckily we do have that flowstone. And I think I'm gonna go right now with that hypnotoxic laser. Energy attachment and N. We are both equal right now. I have two dynamotors, so I'm gonna definitely charge up with both of them. After that, what I'm gonna do, I will play my Ultra Ball and. In addition to that, I can take another Zekrom, so I can have attacking Pokemon available for the next turn. And right now, the only thing I need to do is retreat and hit with... If I go with the Outrage, that is just 50 more. Technically, he can be knocked out, but he won't be knocked out because there's a kill deal in place. So I definitely need to Bolt Strike for the knockout and there is a junk harm number two unfortunately without executes you can't use junk harm for free i wish there is a there are two executes available but unfortunately there's no sign of them so the bad thing about portrait is that the moment you declare the portrait pucky power unfortunately if your opponent has supporter card in hand you're forced to use it so there's a portrait and he was forced to use that Professor Johnny Purr. Still, I'm in a very comfortable position. And there's the Skyla. So, the Skyla allows you to search your deck for a trainer card and then you can put it into your hand and it is a another level ball big disadvantage for my opponent is definitely that he only had one electric in play but with a couple junk arms he can quickly put more pokemons in play so there's the ultra ball for lighting energy and execute Definitely something you really want to do. Uh, was that another Killio? No, it was a Mewtwo. So, there we go. This is going to be a Mewtwo for 100 and 100, actually for 100. So yeah, once my warning strike for 100, um, I just need to be used my junk harm for hypnotoxic laser the second junk harm needs to be for silver bangles so what are we gonna do in this case um well i'm gonna use junk harm for nothing less than for the silver bangle and since i have probably two more uh, hypnotoxic lasers left in my deck probably i will draw another one i will probably draw into another one so let's go with the junk harm for junk harm and for the lighting energy and for that silver bangle, we really need that. And then Johnny per 4, 7. Perfect. I managed to find all I really needed. And at this moment, I'm in search for one card, which is a super rod. So let's go first with a level ball. I have strong finisher uh, in my deck available, it is a Zekrom, so do I have Super Rod available? Yes, I do. So let me use that computer search for two executes, should be free computer search play. Super Rod, of course, then tool scraper for my opponent Floatstone, energy. A hypnotoxic laser and then super rod. So with the super rod I will recycle back two Zekroms, one lightning energy and it's time for my retreat into Zekrom for a bolt strike and a plus 30 for the um, hypnotoxic laser should be enough for the battle it is 182 price cards for me it is a level ball and a ultra ball 
All right, so with the level ball, I can grab another Tynamo. With the Ultra Ball, I can go even for a Zekrom EX. And with a Zekrom EX, I can strike for 150, but it's not gonna be enough, unfortunately, for the knockout against, let's say, a Kelvin, not even a Zekrom EX. And as we can see, my opponent is probably gonna go for that uh, lightning Claw, uh, maybe even Strong Vault. It all depends if he can find enough energies and enough resources. He do have Smurgle, but he does not have any more um, Floatstone available. Without Floatstone, this Kildeo won't be able to retreat for free anymore. Um, still, he can pay some energy cost in order to retreat, but I highly doubt about that. There is a John Carm, so he might just decide to go for a Floatstone. Of course, as expected, he decided to go for the Floatstone. And right now we are gonna see a Smurgle portrait play. Ooh, and that means that my opponent will be forced to basically pass the turn, maybe decide to retreat into Zekrom EX in order to absorb some pressure from my Zekrom EX. But that definitely does not looking good. Alright. Or maybe to sack from regular one, of course, because... He can also tank it in as well. Alright, so Ultra Ball for this Execute and Verbing City Gym. We're looking forward to get rid of it. I'm gonna grab myself another Zekrom. And additionally, I will use my... Um, Level ball for third electric. So we have electrics right now to play. We can of course use a couple dynamotors and retreating as the option here. Um, and then attacking with the outrage, but then again I can't do nothing then at the outrage. So let's just go with the bolt strike one just relying on the top deck anyways. And with the Bolt Strike, I'm increasing with the uh, damage on my Zekrom, so Outrage next turn can technically be used for 120 again. Actually, turn after for 140, and with Silver Bangle for like 170. So yeah, we're actually pretty much good here. Um, this might be a... ooh, Pokemon Collector play, alright, so... but. Pretty much for Jirachi, Raikou, and Tynamo. Raikou also very strong card in um, the Zekrom deck. Smurgle, Portrait for nothing. Unfortunately, I only have Switch. My opponent didn't pay too much attention, I guess. And there's a Hypnotoxic Laser. Um, the good thing is that I can Outrage. Down to one prize which is a, another Zekrom. And right now I'm waiting for my opponent to see which Pokemon he will promote in the active. He decided to came with the Keldia, of course, because of the flow stone for the free retreat. And there is Propagation. Propagation Execute can then again be used for the Junk Harm, minus one. Didn't see which card was the second one. And he goes for the level ball. Alright, so my opponent definitely needs to go with that Zekrom EX. There is no doubt about it. And maybe... Yeah, I didn't actually have energy, so it's okay. But still, maybe... I, th I think I actually... Yeah, I did make a mistake here. I had pretty much win here. The winning condition for me was to retreat Zekrom to Electric. Um, pretty much use Dynamotor to power up that energy on the Zekrom. Uh, play Switch, back to that Zekrom, hit with the Bolt Strike for the knockout, and then I would preserve two energies, and a Silver Bangle, and a Hypnotoxic Laser for the knockout against Zekrom EX. And I didn't pay too much attention on that, but right now still even John Carm will do the job. But then again, if I uh, draw into the end, I'll just end myself down to one, so that's just not what we really need. But still, we are down to one prize and just another Zekrom Tom deck. So, well, I guess I'm gonna use my Dynamotor. And the good thing is that I have like three Dynamotors available. 
And with so many Dynamotors, um, I can power up my Zekrom's. And even better, I can put even another Zekrom on the bench. And with so many Zekrom's, I can still switch over a ball. I can do so many good things. And of course, I'm gonna strike with the Bolt Strike for 120. And since my opponent bench is full, and he plays a uh, Scramble Switch, I highly doubt about a Super Scoop Up. I'm in a very favorable position. Uh, because he is basically forced to attack with something like whatever he used, the game is over, unfortunately, because Zekrom will be knocked out, another Zekrom should also be knocked out. Jirachi is a 90 HP Pokemon, so it is a GG. Um, it was definitely a close game, no doubt about it. So, we just, we're just short for one energy, but there is a electric with a flowstone. So one flowstone actually carry us through the game. Um, so let's go for another Dynamotor and for that energy attack. So pretty much strategy with four Zekroms might seem to be a little bit too much, but in the end, it's not. It definitely is not. And that is a GG. Unfortunately, we cannot take a look at our opponent deck, but it was definitely a good mirror matchup. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Till the next time, have a nice day and goodbye.